Historic bill to end female genital mutilation. Yay, finally. Wow, with all this crappy news, now we have some good news for great good way to end this. New Zealand's first uh New Zealand first welcomes the pa- passage of the crimes what? Crimes definition of female genital mutilation amendment bill today. Okay, so it's called the crimes I mean, crimes definition of female genital mutilation amendment bill today. Guys, these are really crappy names for bills. You guys have to come up with better names. All right, but it's a good bill, though, uh, which protects women and girls from abhorrent abuse. New Zealand First. um, Okay, New Zealand First is the name of the organization, I think. New Zealand First uh, spokesperson for human rights, um, Jenny Markorft. MP is delighted the bill passed all remaining stages today, uh, signaling that FGM is unacceptable in New Zealand. Quote, no matter how rare the practice of FGM may be in our country, it is our duty to protect women and girls from the emotional and physical abuse, she said. Okay, I actually have a question. I'm not very sure about this anymore. First of all, I mean, from all the places we need this law, New Zealand seems to be one of the least important places. Like, how many FGM happens in New Zealand? Like, I was hoping, like, yay, built an FGM in Egypt, maybe, like, or some other North African country. That would have been, like, but again, I I guess this is a tinier win than I thought it was, but I guess we could take it. That's one um, point. Another point is, like, was... Is isn't the law? Uh, do don't the laws in New Zealand already protect um, taking sharp items at other people's genitals and cutting stuff off already? Like, aren't there laws in the books already? Shouldn't they already be stopping anybody from doing it? Like, okay, like, do we do we need laws that says okay, you do you may not cut off people's genitals without their consent? And then do we need also laws on top of that? You also may not cut off people's noses without consent. Oh, and then let's also go, you also may not cut off people's earlobes without consent. Do we need a law for each one of these? Or that just a mere act of violence against people, innocent people? Isn't that already covered under the laws that are on the books? What do you guys think? I'm going to say that sometimes they are very specific where they'll say, you know, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can do this. Only in this case can you do this if this specific set of circumstances is present. I mean, obviously you can't come up with every possible scenario, but I have seen law written like that, particularly, you know, I, I don't know about the violence law, but, you know, I could see if it, they didn't say you know, it specifically, then someone would say, well, it's because it's my religion and it doesn't, and it's called this and you didn't, it's called A, and you didn't ban A, you only banned B, C, and D. You know, I'm not sure how the law in New Zealand works, but I do know I have seen laws that are written where they'll define what they mean and then explain what those things are within that definition. Right. So, um, so Daniel is saying, I'm surprised it wasn't against the laws there already. I probably was, but maybe like let's let's play like I'm gonna get also defend it. Maybe from a symbolic perspective even if it's not solving much of a problem in New Zealand, maybe it sends a signal to the world where this is okay. Maybe it sets up, you know, a role model for people's activists in other countries to show to their government that this is what the civilized world is doing. Maybe we should need to catch up with the rest of the civilized world. So maybe it has a more of an international effect from a, from a symbolic perspective rather than much of an impact in New Zealand itself. So maybe in that way, it would be, it's a good thing. Um, here we have a comment by Antimony saying, we have anti-FGM laws in Netherlands and the numbers are significant, but we have zero convictions. Funny that, fun, wow, really, in Netherlands, that's horrible. Uh, Michael, who I'm legally obligated to read his comments because he's a member now, and but I don't want to read his comments, is saying, uh, but the New Zealanders are in it, on it bah, unequivocal stance on this can act as a president that can spread throughout the world. Yes, unfortunately, I agree with Michael Sherlock. Again, this is very uncomfortable, but I agree with Michael Sherlock. 
Um, and yeah, so I'm yeah. gonna interrupt you just to say I agree with that point, and I actually have to leave. I'm sorry, I have to cut out early, but I gotta. Sit you don't have here. to leave early because we're done. This is the last news, and we also had the last comment. So yeah, this was it. But yeah, goodbye, Rivka. Thank you. Um, all right, so yeah, we finished the news. Um, that well, I wanted to mention that uh, she, I mean, Jenny Warcroft from New Zealand, she actually said that it doesn't matter how how rare the cases are in New Zealand. It is their duty to protect women and girls from abusive practices. So yeah, it, but, it just yeah, doesn't but, matter. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's... I wasn't saying that there shouldn't be law protecting women if, if the numbers are low. I wasn't saying that. That wasn't that was not my counterpoint. My point was like this is a smaller win that I thought it was. It's a still a win. It's a smaller win compared to because I thought like it's a historic it's big. I thought like oh my god, a country like I don't know Egypt said like we're gonna stop this. I mean, I actually uh, never mind. But um, a bigger country like wait, didn't Egypt already recently outlaw FGM? I would. I was thinking about that. Some African yeah. country actually did. Yeah, was it Egypt North African, or Sudan? Yeah, was some North Sudan? African country. So that was like that was a huge win. Again, okay? so we can celebrate the small win, uh, but that's a bigger win. I'm just saying. I'm just putting the thing in perspective. And also, the main the main uh, criticism I had is that the laws already existing should stop this without need to specify. But again, sometimes you need to specify uh, just to put out a message out there that this cut cut this cut this out. Just cut it out, people. Cut it out, right? So sometimes it makes a sense. It makes sense to be more specific about the law. Uh, the mad gay is saying, "Woman, um, person, woman, man, camera, TV." Yeah, I did it. Thank you, guys. What does that mean? Oh, that's a Trump reference. <laughs> I got, I got the reference. I got the reference. Um, Ethan is saying, "Great show, guys. Always very informative." Thank you, Ethan, Th and thank you for being a member. And guys, you can be a member as well. Uh, on our YouTube channel, right next to the subscribe button, there's a join button for everyone else. There's a link you could become a patron. But again, reminder always do not support us financially if you can't afford it. Please do not support us financially if you're struggling at all. And uh, if you're not, if you if you don't, if you can't support us financially, just like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, it's very easy. It just takes a few seconds. No, it doesn't take a few seconds, it takes a half, half a second. So, why haven't you done it? Why? Why? I'm looking at you. Why haven't you done it? If you are watching this show and you haven't liked and subscribed, explain to me what's wrong with you. What the hell is wrong with you? Just subscribe right now. Just now. Now. There. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Michael Sherlock is confirming Egypt banned FGM in 27. It's still happening though in Egypt today, but that is huge progress. That was a huge progress. Egypt is more progressive than New Zealand. LOL. <laughs> okay. Well, no, because New Zealand didn't think it was necessary. Justin is saying Daniel uh, Daniel Muscato of the woke cult is the new Karen after picturing a Kroger employee. Cancel culture is backfiring. I don't know what that's in reference to, but I'll look it up. Maybe I'll make a video of it. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, if you want to meet, uh, if you want to recommend videos for me to review um, on our YouTube channel and our Twitch, what you can do, let me show you guys. We have a Discord server now. So if you go to our Discord server, hold on one second, Atheist Republic's uh, Discord server, which is linked in, in the description, you could go to here. If you go to ACS Republic and then go to video recommendations, uh, you could get, send videos here and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do a live stream and recover them. If they're good, I'll, uh, I'll cover them on one of the live streams, right? Uh, Justin uh, is also saying GoFundMe has raised about 15000 for Kroger. Andy, I need to look into this. This seems important. Mus uh, Muscada made a bad move with this one, claiming assault and manager. Doing okay, I need to see this, what this is about because I don't know what the context of all of this is. Anyways, let's, let's guys, follow Shobham. Link in the description. Follow his, go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He has some very unique takes from inside India about Hinduism-related stuff and about trans and gay related stuff in India. Give him some, show him some love, follow him, uh, and yeah, support him and share his content con uh, content everywhere if you're interested in that stuff, okay? Link in the description, do it. Love you guys, bye-bye. Bye. Oh, wait, Michael is saying, great job, Shabham, <laughs> Armin, do better.
Bye. <laughs> news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.